Tel Aviv. Europe is looking towards Israel this weekend. Of course, because of the Eurovision Song Contest, it's the third time that the country is hosting the competition. But when the party is over next week, there are still great reasons to look toward Israel, including and in particular for startup entrepreneurs. So it's a big hub for startups. There are more startup companies in Israel per capita than anywhere else in the world. And there are great reasons, a ton of them. When I speak to venture capitalists here and to founders, they tell me, well, look, Andreas, there's a great set of universities, there's research and development, a lot of funding for military from the state, immigration culture, hardworking culture. But when it comes to learning from Israeli startups, the learnings for startups in other countries, one sticks out for me. And that is internationalization. Israeli startups, they think about going abroad right from the start. And they have to because Israel is a small market, just 9 million people. And that's the great learning for startups from, say, medium-sized countries. Think Germany, think France, for example. A trap for them, because the market is comfortably big, you can grow, but once you hit that ceiling, it's much harder to internationalize. Because you've grown so much, you may have a sticky company culture, you might still speak in your mother tongue rather than English, so it becomes more costly and harder to internationalize. So, big learning. If you're an entrepreneur in one of those countries, think about going abroad and internationalizing much earlier than you feel comfortable.